Every football player dreams of making it to the NFL, and for Marshall, Minnesota native and former NDSU quarterback Trey Lance, that dream is about to become a reality in the upcoming NFL draft. But Lance's journey to the pros has been anything but ordinary. He spoke with his high school coach and former teammate about what it's been like watching one of their own make it to the top. Marshall, Minnesota is home to around 14,000 people, including one soon-to-be NFL quarterback, Trey Lance. But quarterback wasn't where Lance would first excel at early on. Trey was a running back at the time, but you can see the competitiveness he had. He was a little bit thicker then than you see the Trey Lance now, and the height wasn't there. So uh, uh, he was always a good athlete, competitor, but we thought he was going to be a running back. By high school, Lance had made the switch to quarterback and became the varsity backup during his sophomore season. Later that year, Marshall's starting quarterback was sidelined mid-game due to injury, opening the door for Lance. We were actually behind. Uh, and Trey came in and led us a couple touchdown drives, but, but fell a little short in the comeback, so we got beat 39-35. But uh, uh, Trey took over from then and led us to three straight state tournaments. Over the next three seasons, Lance would become one of the best signal callers in the state. We do routes every Thursday morning um, in the offseason, and I remember coming in as a little uh, freshman, and when he threw the ball, I just remember how hard that would come in, and like, it was just like catching a rocket. But most schools didn't think Lance had the tools to be a college quarterback. He played safety and returned punts and, and got molded into that athlete uh, recruiting thing. And we knew he was quarterback the whole way, and he's a guy with the ball in his hands. So uh, uh, we stayed away from anybody who wanted to recruit him as, as a defensive guy and, and went with quarterback only. FCS Power NDSU would offer Lance as a quarterback. By his second season in Fargo, Lance had established himself as the best player in the FCS, taking home the Walter Payton Award. Oh, uh, Trey's never content, so uh, uh, when people doubted him, I think it motivated him more and, and even made him focus more and work hard just to, to prove the doubters wrong a little bit. Just kind of the skills that he brought, um, not only on the field, but like as a person, is I think something that a lot of people looked up to um, in this community and especially on the football team. As Lance prepares to hear his name called Thursday night in the NFL draft, his hometown has something special planned to honor the former Tiger great. It's just fun for our kids, a town of 14,000 people, to see our guy go in the NFL. Everywhere you look, it's Trey Lance. So uh, the community's going to have Trey Lance Day, the, the day of the draft, and it's just going to be a lot of fun.